What's going on, elect of the Lord? Y'all know what time it is. Let's say it together. Fasten them seat belts. Get you something to eat. Get you something to drink. But if you're fasting, that's even better. That's right. Let's hit the ground running, y'all. Isaiah chapter 40. Let's, pre let's preach them, uh, them good tidings today, man. Well, we do that every day, though, don't we? Good tidings, man. Uh, that's what it's all about. Isaiah chapter 40. Let's start with verse 1. And it says, uh, Comfort ye, comfort ye my people. Right? Said the Lord. Uh, said your God. You know. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, right? And cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she had received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. And didn't he say, he told us several times in the word that he would, uh, comfort Jerusalem his people so that's where he sent the Holy Ghost right uh, what we want Isaiah uh, sixty six thirteen. let's get that real quick y'all stay with me cuz uh, you know we started out a little slow you know uh, and then, uh, y'all know we're going to bring it, but I got to set it up. Isaiah 66, 13. Let's go there real quick. As one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you, and you shall be comforted in Jerusalem. So he said he's going to comfort Jerusalem. That's what we was just reading. And uh, so what is he talking about comforting? What do you... How's he going to comfort us, y'all? Uh, John 14, let's get it. 26. Let's go to John 14, 26. This is what he's talking about. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So he's going to give us total recall with the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. This is after our, our uh, sentence of death. That punishment, that cruelty of uh, uh, being banished from his sight. Because he exiled us from Jerusalem, the earthly realm. Let's get back over there, Isaiah. Y'all stay with me. It's going to make sense as I go. You know, uh, it's going to make sense as we go. Let's get back over to Isaiah 40, verse 1. So he's talking about comfort with the Holy Ghost, right? And he said he would comfort us in Jerusalem. Right? By sending the Holy Ghost. That's what he's talking about. Right? Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Said your God. Speak comfortably. Through the Holy Ghost to Jerusalem, uh, we are the inhabitants which were scattered into the four corners of the earth, right? Uh, because let's get some of that and do Deuteronomy real quick. Let's go to Deuteronomy. You know, we like to be thorough here, we got to be thorough. Deuteronomy 28, let's go over there and uh. So we needed that comfort, man. Look. 64. Deuteronomy 28, 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among the people from the one end of the earth even to the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, right, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone, right, and among these nations thou shalt find no ease, 
neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. So we're going to have no rest. And we're going to be serving all these other false gods. Right? But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. You know, I'm going to be scared all the time, frightened. You know? Failing eyes. Sorrow of mind. Ooh, he going to jack us up. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night. Thou shalt have none assurance of thy life. You know? You're going to be deaf on every side of us, man. Trauma. Torment. Sufferings. You know, curses. Right? In the morning thou shalt say, Would well, God it were evening. And at evening thou shalt say, Would well, God it were morning. We 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 gonna be discontent whether it be morning or evening. We had no peace, no peace, man, but terror all around us. For the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, we're gonna be greatly afraid, y'all. And for the sight of thy eyes, which thou shalt see, and we and we seen all this right to our people. You know, family members, you know, relatives, friends, you know, and our brethren, you know. We seen the lynchings, we seen the uh, just cruel treatment that the nations give us, the injustice, you know, till this very day, man. That justice system is the criminal justice system, right? And they are definitely unconstitutional. They have cruel and unusual punishment, which the Constitution is against, you know. And it's supposed to be the 13th Amendment, abolishment of slavery. But under this uh, criminal justice system, uh, they still sneak slavery in. Because once you uh, come under that system, or what they say, if you committed of a crime... You still a slave. But then they incriminate us just by our skin. Just by how we look. They automatically incriminate us and and, and say that we're guilty. We're guilty. We gotta prove our innocence. We gotta spend thousands of dollars, right? Get an attorney. And we gotta prove our innocence. When well, they supposed to prove us guilty, you know. Uh, we got to pay money to prove our innocence. That's crazy, ain't it? Isn't that crazy? I give you an example. When OJ uh, beat that murder case, he was found innocent. But yet they were able to sue him civilly and win. How does that work? If he was proven innocent of the murder, how are you going to prove him guilty of the civil? That's crazy. And then uh, uh, Bill Cosby was judged, but not a jury of his peers. That's unconstitutional. You know, and they tried him double jeopardy. Unconstitutional. Yeah. Cruel and unusual punishment. And, and you don't see them do any other celebrities like that. I keep seeing only black celebrities going to jail. R. Kelly, Bill Cosby. Oh, I don't see them dragging off these white. I don't see no white folks going to jail, doing time. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, that's that's the system, man. That we are under. That's what the Lord's talking about here, man. Right? We we are in a strange land among our enemies. And they that hate us are ruling over us. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. You know, that's the system. That's a system, Egypt. Of uh, what, everything we just talked about. You know, to be cruel to the children of Israel. Right? Again, with ships. This time with the ships, slave ships. You know? And they make movies off that, so we know who that is. You know, 
by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. That's Jerusalem of the earth. Right? Uh, because the new Jerusalem will be in the heavens. That's that's our goal to get there. But this world will become our wilderness. Okay, this world will become our wilderness for the children of Israel. Our Egypt. Okay. The wilderness of sin. That's Egypt. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Look at this. To our enemies, man, for bond man and bond woman, and no man shall redeem you. Or it says buy you, but that we know that means redeem you. Or you could say buy you out of that condition. Alright? From those curses. None can buy you out of those curses. Alright. Uh let's get back over there to uh Isaiah 40. Oh, this video gonna be I'm setting it up. Isaiah 40. There's a lot of meat in that. And uh let's get back over that. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, said the Lord. Now, after all that we read in Deuteronomy, we need some comfort, right? <laughs> all right, but we had to drink that cup. Yeah. And remember, we cast into this wilderness, into Egypt, among our enemies, right? And we find no rest for the soles of our feet. He says, Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. Okay? That her iniquity is pardoned. God has forgiven us. That's what he's saying. For she had received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins man right so all we read about in deuteronomy can't be over for that nightmare living this american dream which is a, a nightmare can't be over for us if we stop trying to follow this dream now we just named a couple dames who thought they had the dream oj bill cosby come on michael uh you name them they thought they had the dream but it became a nightmare, didn't it? Right? They Cinderella, uh, uh, that time, remember, she had to, to get home before midnight and all that. They midnight came. Now, everybody else was still enjoying this little prosperity or whatever, all you celebrities and uh, uh, sports celebrities and entertainers. They just, they midnight ain't hit yet. Okay, they midnight ain't hit yet. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness. See, that's where we at. That's what this video is. I'm a voice crying in this wilderness. Saying, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Get your, get your mind right. Get your heart right. Prepare the way for Jesus. Make straight in the desert a highway. You got to make a highway, man. God is in the highway. For our God. Okay, because he's trying. He got to take you up. And over. That's the only way you're going to make it. Out of this nightmare. Alright. Out of Egypt. Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain and hill. Shall be made low. That's in the earth realm. And the crooked shall be made straight. And the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. See. And that's Jesus. Dying on the cross. Alright. And that might look like shame. Remember he said I'm going to turn your glory into shame. For many of us that looks. Uh, shame. So we run from that. That's why we ran. The sheep. They smoked the shepherd and the sheep scattered. Right. Uh, we ain't want no part of that. But that's really our glory. Our glory is hidden in that shame. The glory is hidden in the shame. And all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The voice said, cry, and he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, remember that. So even the ones you idolize, you want they autograph, but the Bible said all flesh is grass. And all the uh, uh, goodness 
Thereof is as the flower of the field. Right? So man's goodness is like the flower of the field. Right? Without Jesus, his glory is the flower of the field. Check this out. And the grass withereth, and the flower fadeth. His glory gonna fade. Didn't Bill Cosby have it? They call him America's dad. OJ had it. He was doing all kind of commercials. I mean, OJ. He had the world eating out of his hands at one time when he was at the top. You name him. Michael uh, Jordan. Uh, 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 Tyson. It all fades, man. It all fades. You can't stay at the top in this world. They'll give you a taste. That taste is crumbs. You get in the world's crumbs. Just like Jesus gave that uh, 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 woman crumbs when he healed her daughter. She wanted the bread. He didn't give her the... She said, well, the dogs. He called her a dog. She said, the dogs eat the crumbs, Lord, that fall from the table. So he healed her daughter because she acknowledged she was a dog. Right? Now, they, they can get our crumbs. How's that? They can get our crumbs... But you chasing they crumbs. When we chasing they wealth and peace, their prosperity, that's their crumbs. That's their crumbs, man. They never going to allow you to sit with them at their table as an equal. Because it, the Bible don't even allow that. Let me say it again. The Bible does not allow that. Y'all know Genesis 25. I'm not even going there on this video. But y'all read Genesis 25. There's no equality. Starting with verse 21. On down to 34. There's no equality. God chose the children of Israel for his inheritance. Y'all know the scriptures. That's Job 31 to 1 Kings 8. 51 to 53. Huh? And that's, uh, 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 they are predestined, right, from the foundation of the world. Romans 9, verse 3 and 4. Come on now. Isaiah 35, 135, verse 4. But let's finish this. So the glory fadeth is like the foul, flower. It fadeth. Uh, because the Spirit of the Lord above above. I mean, it can't compare to the Spirit of the Lord. None shall want her mate. You can't mate uh, with the Spirit of the Lord. Nothing of this world can compare to it, the Bible told us. Nothing you can desire from this world can compare to the glory of the Lord. It just can't, y'all. Right? So that's what we read here. The Spirit of the Lord blow up upon it. That thing fade, man. Huh? Remember Jesus cursed that fig tree? Because it couldn't produce fruit? Let's continue this. The people is grass. The people grass, man. And the grass wither, and the flower fadeth. But the word, look, the word of God shall stand for. That's what's blessed. The scriptures is what's blessed. The word of God is God. This word even became flesh. The volume of the book. Jesus came in the volume of the book. Psalms 40, verse 6 to 11. Hebrews chapter 10 is that whole chapter. Jesus Christ came in the volume of the book. Okay, check this out. O Zion, that bring us good tidings. That's who Jesus is. Jesus is Zion. O Zion, that... Uh, bring of good tidings, right? And then you and me become Zion. See, it's Zion that brings the good tidings. The good tidings is the good news. What's the good news? Comfort. Come to Jesus Christ for comfort, for the Holy Ghost. Yo, iniquity is accomplished. God, yeah, he, he jacked us up double for our sins. You know what I'm saying? Time served. You've been pardoned. 
It's time to tell our people. And it's time to what? Tell it on the mountain. Oh, Zion, this is the mountain. This is the mountain top. Only those who are on the mountain going to be telling it. We're going to see that in this video. Told you y'all going to be blessed for tuning in. This is for the perfecting of the saints. You are Zion. Oh, Zion, look. That bring us good tidings. Get thee up, look, into the high mountain. Oh, Jerusalem, that bring us good tidings. This is our people, man. This is Judah. This is Judah. He shall save Judah first. Zechariah 12, 7. Lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities, look, of Judah, tell the other brothers and sisters. Behold your God. His name is Jesus. Behold your God. Y'all see that? Uh, let's read that verse one more time. Verse 9, O Zion, that's who you are. I'm going to show you in just a second. That bring us good tidings. Are you bringing good tidings? Maybe you ain't that yet. You ain't got the Holy Ghost yet. You yourself. Well, we bringing you the message. We telling you, you can, you supposed to get the promise of God. Jesus told us that. Come on now. Let's go. Let's do this. Luke. Luke. Luke what? 24 and 49. Let's get it. Luke 24, 49. And behold, I send a promise. These words are in red. Of my father upon you, but tarry ye in the city, look, of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high. You say, well, how can we tarry in the city of Jerusalem, King Superman? Great question. Great question. Well, let me get your answer. Jeremiah 51 and 50. Jeremiah 51, 50. It says, uh, Ye that have escaped the sword. The sword is on Egypt, y'all. Just like in Exodus, when Moses and the children of Israel had they exodus. Remember, applying the, door, the blood, the lamb's blood on their doorpost. And then the, uh, 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 the angel of death came through Egypt. The angel of death is here in the earth now. That's Egypt. All around you. We were just reading some of that in uh, Deuteronomy 28, 64 through 68. Right? When it was morning, you say, oh, God, I wish it was evening. When it was evening, you say, oh, God, I wish it was morning. No assurance for thy life. Death. Death. Murderers. No peace. No rest. That, that's why you got to escape. You got to escape. You got to escape hell. The word is come. What is that? Psalm 107.20. He sent his word to heal them and to deliver them from their destructions. Escape hell. We reading it right now. Ye that have escaped the sword, go away. Stand still. Right. And know that he's God. Remember the Lord afar off. And check this out. And let Jerusalem come into your mind. Let Jerusalem come into your mind. What does that mean? Uh, meditate. That's what it means. That means let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted when I sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Psalms 19, that last verse. O oh Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted within our, in our sight. Lord is my strength and my redeemer. Let Jerusalem come into your mind. That's what the scriptures is. Oh, King Superman, can you further elaborate on that? I sure can. I'm glad y'all asking all these questions. I'm glad y'all uh, are advanced students. Joshua 1. In verse 5, let's do it. It says, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. 
as I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. Don't you want that? As he was with Moses. Moses knew him face to face. Let's know the Lord face to face, y'all. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto thy fathers to give them. Don't you want the land, the inheritance, the promise, the birthright, the heritage of your forefathers? That's what all this is about. This whole Bible is about that, right? We're going to get there in this video. Only be thou strong. Look what he's telling you. And very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. This spiritual law. This spiritual law. When he's talking about the coronal law. Which Moses, my servant, commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper. Wheresoever thou goest. Check it out. Verse 8. This book of the law. The volume of the book. He's talking about the volume of the book, y'all. Shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate. Didn't I say that? Let Jerusalem come into your mind. How you do that? Meditate. Oh, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted when I say, oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Meditate. Therein, look, day and night. Are you doing that? Day to meditate day and night. This is how you get it in you. This is how you become transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might prove what is good and accept it when the perfect will of God, Romans 12, verse 1 and 2, that you be not conformed to this world, but be ye what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. That thou mayest, look, observe to do according to all that, what, is written therein. You got to meditate day and night. To be comforted. Don't you want to be comforted? Don't you want to be transformed? Don't you want to be a new creation? Don't you want to be blessed? All right, let's finish this. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous don't you want to be prosperous in christ and then thou shalt have look good success this is how we become prosperous and have good success have not i commanded thee be strong you got to be strong don't be no care don't be weak out here let me tell you about this is hard you heard people say that all the time it's hard it is, it is, that's that's opposite of what we read Talking like that. The power of life and death is in the tongue. Come on now. The Bible said be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. The Bible said let the weak say I am strong. Have not I commanded thee be strong. And of good courage. Good courage don't be talking defeated. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God, look, is with thee wheresoever thou goest. Even on your job. You being bullied on the job because you, you ain't acknowledging that the Lord is with you. You ain't got to be bullied on your job. You're supposed to run that thing. They supposed to be afraid of you. The police supposed to be afraid of you. This is flipped. Now they drink the cup. Oh, we're going to get there, too. We're going to get there, too. Well, we, we go over there now. We go over there now. Some of y'all know where I'm going. You know? Uh, uh, I want to hit the whole book, really. But let's go to, uh, what is it, Isaiah 51? Isaiah 51, we can do that. But, uh, yeah, the police both be afraid. I always remember that. Police... And them supposed to be afraid. If you get this meditation right in you, they supposed to be afraid of you. Huh? Uh, they supposed to be afraid of you. <clears throat> they might run up on you, but they're going to flee seven ways back. That's the way it happens with me. They might not get it right off uh, immediately, because when they run up on you, 
They think you just a slave like everybody else. But as soon as you open your mouth, they be like, oh, hell, what the hell did I done run into? They be hairy up calling their supervisors and all that. Tell them back up. Huh? They didn't realize they done messed up. What kind of nigga is this? Huh? That's what they supposed to say. What kind of nigga is this? Huh? If you get that word in you right, that's what they say. Isaiah 51 10, let's do it. Thou art not it which dry up. Did I read that right? Art thou not it which had dried the sea and the, of the waters of the great deep that made the depths of the sea a way for the ransomed? This is what the Lord did to pass over. We are the ransom. We can pass over. He did all this. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing to Zion. That's the high mount. Right? And everlasting joy shall be upon their head, and they shall obtain gladness and joy. Look, sorrow and mourning shall flee away. That's that first cup, Deuteronomy 28 cup. Uh, that sorrow and mourning flees away. But you got to get up on that high mountain of Zion. Isaiah 13, let's get that. Isaiah 13. Uh, two and three. It says, lift up a banner upon the high mountain. See? Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Are you doing this? Right? Lift up a banner. And what's that banner? That's the Lord's name. You know that. Lift up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand. You're supposed to speak with authority to Zion, your people, Jerusalem, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. You know that's the gates of righteousness. That's the city of Zion. That's the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified, look, my sanctified ones, sanctify yourself. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. Are you rejoicing that he's exalted? That's what he's talking about. That's what he's talking about. Let's read that again. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called and you know we the children of Israel and Abraham people, they, we the ones that's called. Called my mighty ones uh, for my anger even them that rejoice and my highness, he's exalted. Are you rejoicing that Jesus Christ is exalted above every name? Philippians 2, verse 9 through 11. And we do that every... I ain't gonna go there this video. I'm gonna try not to. That should be uh, uh, already in your forehead. That should already be sanctified in your hearts. Y'all know these videos. King Superman, the, the mighty great lion. We drill that. Philippians 2, verse 9 through 11. We drill that. The exaltation of Jesus Christ. The glorification of Jesus Christ. That's the merger of the Father and the Son. Come on now. Upon the mountains of Zion. Man, this is the good news. This is the good tidings. If you're not, you got to come up. That's all it is. Come on up and get your inheritance. Come on up. And get your inheritance. Let's read. Let's get some more of that. That's uh, Isaiah 65. That's what it is. Y'all not rejoicing in the Lord's highness. And uh, what do you think your inheritance is? What do you think the sacrifice is? We're going to get all that in this video. We, I got to hurry up. Because y'all know time flies when you having fun. Isaiah 65, 9. Isaiah 65, 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah and inheritor and that's what you are you are heir you are an heir to the throne okay tell your wife tell your husband tell your children tell your family members tell your brothers tell your sisters tell your neighbors tell the strangers we are inheritors 
right? To the holy mountain, which is God's throne. Comfort ye, comfort ye, right? Tell the city. Lift up your voice with strength. Be strong and of good courage. Come on. We got to pull off the grave clothes. That fear and all that. And being weak, that's the flesh. That's the Egypt spirit. Come on now. Uh, we in eternity now. When we enter into Christ, ain't no more clock saying you got to get back before midnight. We shatter that clock. Ain't no more hourglass. Time don't run out on us no more. Right? We a new creation, man. We the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Put on Christ. Romans 13, 14. Check this out. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor, Jesus Christ, and you, of my mountains. You got to get on the mountain. You got to get on the mountain. And mine elect shall inherit it. You the elect. This is your inheritance. And my servants shall dwell there. You're supposed to dwell there in Zion. You're supposed to put Zion on. Isaiah 52. Come on. Come on. Here's all it is. Awake. Awake. That, that's the message. Awake, y'all. Awake. Wake out your sleep. And rise up from the dead. Christ shall give you light. Zion is your light. A city that's set on a hill cannot be hid. That's your city. You the same. You the light of the city. You are the light of the world. Come on. Hey, wake, hey, wake. Put on thy strength. That's your light. Your Christ. Your salvation. Oh, Zion. He's calling you Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments of salvation. Right? You married to the Lord. Put on the Lord. I told you when the police, your enemies, when these predators run up on you, you a greater you a greater predator. You divide them. You divide them. You become a, uh, uh, and I can say blowfish, but you ain't bluffing. But you know what? You're not going to meet them as a man. If you put on the Lord right and your strength, you're not meeting them as a man. But you you become a giant. You become greater than them. Greater is he what? That's in you than he that is in the world. 1 John 4, 4. Greater is he that's in you. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength. Put Christ on. Put his words on you. Meditate. Meditate. And speak. Power of life and death is in the tongue. Hey, wake, hey, wake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy what? Beautiful garments. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. O Jerusalem, that's who you are. You the heavenly Jerusalem now. Not the earth. Not of the earth. We've been exalted. You've been exalted. O Jerusalem, the holy city, that's who you are. For he, for henceforth there shall no more come in unto thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Don't let that in your heart. Don't let that in your mind. Why? Jerusalem is now your heart and your mind. New Jerusalem. Right? We read that. Jeremiah 51, 50. That Jerusalem come into your mind. Transforming your mind. Shake thyself from the dust. Do all this, y'all. Arise, sit down. That means rest. Sit in that hot, the the, the 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 seat of the king. He made us what? Sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, in God's throne. This is your resting place. When you sit, you what? You rest. Oh Jerusalem, that's who you are. Loose thyself from the bands. Shake that grave stuff off. Shake that flesh stuff off. Shake that weak stuff off. Shake that crazy stuff off. Shake that nonsense off. Of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. You've been captive. You've been kidnapped. But you also been what? Ransomed. You've been redeemed. 
Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say all of this that we read. For thus said the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. For thus said the Lord God, my people went down four times into Egypt, and sojourned there, and the Assyrian oppressed them. You've been oppressed without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, said the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught, that they... They that rule over them make them to how? OJ. Bill Cosby. Remember, you ain't going to do better than Bill Cosby. Let him be the poster boy showing you to don't touch this world. Don't touch it. Keep out. Keep out. Said the Lord. And my name continues every day is what? Blaspheme. That means they know his name. Why? Because it's, it's written in the scriptures. His name is blasphemed every day. So y'all know that that's Jesus. That's Jesus. Because his name is written right here in the book. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Look. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that does speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful. Look, here it is. Y'all highlight this. How beautiful upon the mountains. Are you on that mountain? Of Zion are the feet of them that bringeth good tidings, that publish peace. Are you doing this? That bringeth good tidings, good tidings of, of good, that publish salvation. Are you telling God's people this? In John 20, Jesus kept telling Peter, If you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, Peter, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my lambs. He told him three times. Lovest thou me more than these? Do you love Jesus more than your job? Do you love Jesus? Uh, is Jesus your chief joy? Let me ask you that. Of all things you can desire, is Jesus Christ your chief joy? Is salvation your chief joy? If not, <laughs> uh, you in hell. Let me just say it that way. If not, you are in hell. You are deceived by the imagination of your own evil heart. I guess you got your college degree on that throne. You worshiping that. Your money, your little fame, uh, you, you YouTuber, you, you got YouTube success. You got success outside of Jesus Christ. Or are you calling your success a blessing? And uh, what the Lord called blesses, blesses the man whose transgressions is covered. Blesses the man whose sins are forgiven. Is, is that not your blessing? But that's Christ clothing you. Clothing your nakedness with him. And he got to become the center of attention. If he's not the center of attention... And become your very life that you love with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and all your strength. You you got fool's gold. You worshiping fool's gold. And that means you still under that Cinderella clock. That means your midnight is coming. And you're going to get caught. And your little glory going to turn to a pumpkin. It's going to turn to Halloween. Like OJ's. And like Bill Cosby. And like all the other entertainers most of them died broke those especially your oldies but goodies ones y'all like them oldies but goodies and you know uh uh, uh when you come up who's that uh they all died broke man you, let, let, you watch that unsung is it your favorite entertainers and singers and all they died a horrible death all of them all of them died a horrible death. They don't leave no wealth to their family because Esau come in there and tie it up. He tied it up. Even, uh, what's that old boy name? Uh, he married the white woman. Y'all know what I'm talking about. His, his black children can't even get that money because he married the white woman and she tied, that all, tied all that money up. Most of them married that white, them whites. Them white folks who was Esau, Edom, and they tie all that up. That Jackson, 
uh, fortune, Michael Jackson's money going to all them white kids. And y'all know them ain't his biological kids. Esau ain't going to let you pass. You got to go up to, to this high mountain to, to pass over Esau. Eat him. They ain't going to let you pass no wealth to your black children. They don't let you do that. Do you see Oprah giving out millions to help the black man? The black family? They don't allow. Do you see, uh, uh, who's that dude play Medea? The Medea dude. What's he doing? Who's, who, who got the money in Hollywood? Do you see any of them trying to help the poor and the needy? They don't allow you to help your people. This is Egypt. Egypt hates the children of Israel. Egypt hates Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. So you got to come up the scripture way. This way, you got to come up to Mount Zion to glorify your God. You got to come up his way. And his way is his son, Jesus. Jesus said, no man come to the Father, but by me, through me. And he reveals the Father to you, according to your faith in him. And you see that Jesus was the Father the whole time. Coming down from above, going back up into his glory. He came to clothe you with his love. It's, it's his love that heals us, forgives us, delivers us, pardons us. It's God's love. Check this out. How beautiful upon the mountains. You got to be on this mount. Mount Zion, man. Uh, are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publish peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publish salvation. That's what this is. This is salvation, man. The word of salvation. That said to Zion, you got to talk to the 12 tribes, which is Judah. Thy God reigneth. Thy God reigneth. Now, Jesus was the first. Isaiah, let's get that, 41, 27. Isaiah 41, 27. See, is this Jesus. The first shall say to Zion, Behold them. And I will give to Jerusalem, wasn't this Jesus? Look, one that bringeth good tidings. This is what Jesus brought. Let's read that one more time. Watch this. The first shall say to Zion, Matthew 15, 24. Who did Jesus say he was sent to? The first shall say to Zion, behold them. And I will give Jerusalem one that bringeth good tidings. Then Jesus didn't we just read that? Luke. Luke 24, 49. Let's go back. Luke 24. Luke 24, 49. What did he say? We just read it, but let's read it again. Luke 24, 49. Jesus said, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. He's talking to Zion. He's talking to Jerusalem. But look. But tell ye where? In the city of Jerusalem, comfort ye Jerusalem. Didn't he say, I comfort you? Good tidings to Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. He was only talking to Jerusalem the whole time. Matthew, what I say, 15, 24? Oh, we got a lot more. Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep. Of the house of Israel. That's Zion. That's Zion. Let's go to. Uh, let, you want a prophecy? Let's get a prophecy. Let's get a prophecy where he would say that. And we'd probably be here all night with the prophecies. There's so many of them. Let's get the one in Psalms 22. Psalms 22. Uh, I will declare thy name. Unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise thee. Verse 23. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him, all ye seed of Jacob, and glorify him, and fear him, all ye seed of Israel. That was Jesus Christ right there, the prophecy. The prophecy. To his brethren. He came to his brethren. Oh, we got more. We got more. 
Ezekiel 39 and 7. Ezekiel 39 and 7. It says, So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel, and I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. That's what Jesus just told us. He would reveal the name, the holy name, to his brother, the children of Israel. That was the name that was exalted. Is it where we at? Ezekiel 39, let's go on down to verse 17. Ezekiel 39, that's where we at. And verse 17. And it says, And thou, son of man, thus said the Lord God, Speak unto every feather fowl, and to every beast of the field, assemble yourselves, and come gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice, the sacrifice, that I do sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice, look, upon the mountains of Israel. This is Zion. Jesus Christ was sacrificed on the mountain, uh, mountains of Israel. Eh? The mountains of Israel. That's the sacrifice. We're reading it now. The Father's telling you about his sacrifice, that he sacrificed. What does that mean? Uh, Isaiah 9, 6, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given for sacrifice. And his name should be called Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And the government should be upon his shoulders, and unto his kingdom there should be no end. And his light came to Jacob. Jacob is his inheritance. Right? The word came to Jacob and lighted upon Israel. That's what we're reading right now. The sacrifice. And thou, son of man, thus said the Lord God, speak unto every feathered fowl, to every beast of the field. Some of yourselves come, gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice, my son. That I do sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice upon the mountains. The mountains. But you're supposed to speak to your people. Peace. Comfort. To your people. Tell them about the promise of God. To comfort them. The promise of what? Of the Holy Ghost. To eat. Look, that ye eat. You may eat the flesh and drink blood. Y'all know this is John 6. Jesus talking about eating my flesh, drinking my blood. John chapter 6. You shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, rams, 